Hi guys, and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So with our latest 4.5 update, we just released the option to add your single cell shortcode. And now you can just add certain values to your websites from WP Data Tables. And without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, so uh, there are multiple use cases for this. We will use a simple example of a world population table where we sorted the list in a descending fashion. So the most populous country in the world is first. Uh, as you all know, it's China. So uh, in here, we also use the responsive feature on desktops. So this will be a short presentation of that as well. So you can see that uh, con uh, years from 2011 until 2019 are hidden here. And the way to do that is when you enable the responsiveness and hide these columns in the column list here by clicking on this button, show or hide on tablet, it will hide these columns on tablet devices. The way to do that on desktops is simply go to settings and increase the tablet width. So all screens with the width below 2000 pixels will be considered as a tablet. Um, moving on to the topic of this video, the single cell shortcode. So we have a table on the front end, which you can see uh, when you access uh, the front end here. And here it is. Here's the table expandable by clicking on this. And this is actually the short code. So in a short description up here, uh, you can see the population of countries from 2011 until 2021. The most populous country in the world is China with single cell short code people in 2021. The way to do that is to actually insert the short code in a text widget. We did that here. So the most populous country in the world is China, China with Short code is WP data table underscore cell table ID is three. The table ID is shown in here. So in the short code, the ID is three. And then we move to the row ID. The row ID for manual tables and tables uh, pulled from the database is shown in the WDT underscore ID column which is hidden by default in manual tables. But if you click on the column list and click on the I symbol, you will actually see this column. So the row ID for China is 41. So this has been added table ID three, row ID 41. And column key is the actual origin header of the column. So in the table, you click on this little gear to open the settings. And in here, you can see the origin header of the column. So the displayed header is 2021. But since it's an import imported table, uh, it's stored in the database as WDT column 10. So when we add that here, we basically define that it's a, sh it's a single cell short code for table three, row 41, column 10. Basically, we did the same for India, uh, row 110 and USA row 252. You can see that in the table here. So 110 and 252, when we use this and publish it on the front end, you can use the single cell shortcode to display a value of a single cell in a line of text or somewhere else on the page, wherever you may need it. Great. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. So I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. This is just a brief overview of how you can use, of one example, how you can use a single cell shortcode. Of course, in the next few videos, we will explain more details for different use cases and different types of tables in WP Data Tables. But for now, I hope you enjoy, enjoy this new feature and see you guys in the next one. Okay, guys, thank you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Thank you.